Philippines has always been rich in more ways than one, from raw materials and natural resources to values and traditions. And for anyone that is foreign to our soil, it is just natural that they'd want to see it all. One cannot simply miss out on any of our natural treasures if they can help it. So today, we're gonna be talking about some of this. The Tamarau, commonly mistaken with our own Philippine national animal, the Carabao, has a V-shaped horn shorter than the Carabao that is flat and straight. It is also lighter with a weight of 300 kilograms and shorter with a height of 4 feet than the Carabao weighing around 500 kilograms up to 700 kilograms and 4.5 feet as its height. Huge difference between the Carabao and Tamarau is that Carabao is domesticated and Tamarau's are critically endangered and on the verge of extinction. In fact, around 220 to 300 mature individuals are present. Major threats to the dramatic decrease of population of Tamarau's according to the IUCN are cattle ranching, hunting or trapping terrestrial animals and again, land conversion for housing and agricultural purposes. A very unique and beautiful animal present in Bohol are Tarshirs. They are the considered as the world's smallest primate, ranging around 3 to 6 inches tall and has the largest eye to body ratio, good for night visions and nocturnal animals. Tarshirs are arboreal, tree living, that jump through trees to catch their food, which are mainly insects, some lizards, and snakes. They are also very territorial and were found all over the world from the past. Now, they have settled only in the Southeast Asia, mostly in the Philippines. Most tarsier species are considered near threatened and critically endangered. IUCN or the International Union for Conservation of Nature have stated that 30% of their habitats has been lost for over 20 years and a vast decrease of their population. Most threats are habitats lost and will change to agricultural use, degradation, hunting for pet trade and for food in Siao, and most density, independent factors like forest fires and natural disasters. It's hard not to miss it. It's in our textbooks, in our money, and has even been used as a symbol to represent the Philippines. I'm talking about the Philippine Eagle. Because of the proclamation number 615 that was signed by former President Fidel V. Ramos, the Philippine Eagle was afterwards pegged as the natural treasure found only in the Philippines. These solitary and territorial creatures can only be found in four islands in the country, Leyte, Luzon, Mindanao, and Samar. This elegant creature gliding through the air has 7 feet wingspan, 3 feet height, powerful talons, and blue-gray eyes. Sadly, this majestic bird is critically endangered. According to the Philippine Eagle Foundation, the decline of the Philippine eagle population is attributed to the human activities, specifically deforestation and shooting. The Philippine eagle and many other species, for that matter, face the threat of becoming extinct and this has come with negative implications for our ecosystem. We don't just lose a national treasure, but we'll experience a disequilibrium in the food chain. But the Philippine eagle isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Reports have shown that despite its endangered status, it's thriving to stay alive. Probably the Philippine eagle is the best way to represent the Philippines, an endangered beauty thriving despite external conditions. Density independent threats like forest fires and natural disasters in the habitats of these species will never or most likely be the hardest one to prevent. So it is better to be prepared for all possibilities of extinction, which can help preserve the world's biodiversity. Every known and living species has their own role to play in this world and benefit from each other, a type of cooperation that is needed for a balanced ecosystem and a very healthy biodiversity. As much as biodiversity could provide ecosystem, Services like soil protection and nutrient storage, biological resources like food and medicine, and social benefits like recreation and tourism. All of us should be one in protecting and preserving habitats of all living species out there. And as human beings, let us be the ones to develop and improve the variation among species and ecosystems to make the best out of the world's biodiversity.